operation, jumping with all of our Arctic equipment uh, as we continue to build our proficiency at operating to include jumping into any environment in the world. So uh, today we're jumping with skis, snowshoes, uh, in our overwhites as we are building proficiency to do operations in the Arctic Circle later this winter. Uh, it's a great opportunity for us to uh, you know, train new members of the team, incorporate experience from uh, the veterans that are in our team uh, to ensure we're ready to jump into any, any climate, which we are predicting to be you know, in the negative uh, 10s to 20s when we jump in the Arctic Circle later this winter, uh, and ensure we can use all of our equipment and get to the ground safely uh, with skis, which are kind of a non-standard piece of equipment for airborne operations. the most different experience I've had on an airborne operation. The fact that one, it's tailgate, is something we don't really use. We go through the side door. We have to do tailgate because the skis are tall. The, the rigging procedures for the special item zoo equipment are completely different. And, and the entire jump itself, like it's, it's snowing right now. I've never done it before. So it, it's extremely different than a normal warm weather rucksack weapons case and that's it kind of jump. What we're doing here is, is an Arctic operation so as to show ourselves and show people above us that we can be counted on as a light unit far away from vehicular support. The skis give us a lot of mobility when we're out there in the middle of nowhere.